and then end up getting in the back of the police car and going to jail for nothing. Who? For punching that lady in the face. And who? He calls me a crybaby. Is he a bully? I hate bully. He calls me a crybaby. He called you a crybaby? Okay. Watch this. 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 Watch Desert artist Snake Jagger, what? who spoke of his father's time with Mr. S, Can you take as this? well as some of his own personal childhood experiences it's with taped. various members this of the rap. About George Jacobs. He lived oh, look at my husband. And, uh, oh my God. All over the world. And, uh, Can you copy that, David? Yeah. Run. Snake Jagger reminisces about his father, George Jacobs, Snake who Jagger? from 1953 Snake to 1968. Jagger was the personal was valet to Frank Sinatra. Oh my God. I can God. remember was times Jagger? coming to visit the Sinatra compound when we were younger. And uh, Shh, we would stay in the bungalows uh, on the property. Um, we would watch the Tony Rome movies in his private theater. Uh, I remember meeting Mia Farrow there when he was married to her. George Jacobs was the friend, confidant, traveling companion, and live-in cook to Mr. Sinatra at both his Palm Springs and Carolina residences. <laughs> Snake recalls the generosity of his father's employer, specifically in Bel Air around Christmas time. I remember Mr. Sinatra coming down the, look at me. the stairway, it has kind of a curved stairway, and, and he was walking down in his, I think he was wearing a robe at the time, and he came down to talk to us. And we were, of course, awestruck. This is Frank Sinatra, you know. And, I, and at the time, there was a golf bag uh, right guy? close to us. And uh, it was filled to the top with silver dollars, filled. Well, and I remember that something that stuck in my mind. He grabbed a handful <laughs> and gave that to each one of uh, me and my brothers. And then we were just, you know, ecstatic about that. So there was a one time when he took my brother and, and me to the toy store. He told my dad, George, I'm taking your kids. And we got into this little car, this funny little car, and drove into Cathedral City. And he took us to a toy store. And uh, we were walking around and he said to get anything we wanted, you know, and we were a little shy about that. Uh, remember my brother saw a one of those slot cars that was a thing that goes around on tracks. And we were looking at it, we were both uh, enjoying that. And, and he said, uh, we looked at the price, he goes, oh, it's $13. And Mr. Sinatra was in the other aisle. And when he heard my brother say that, he said out loud, buy it. And everyone in the store laughed. I mean, there were a few other people and they all heard him and they laughed. And, and it was, the type of person who was very generous, and so he had us buying what we, what we wanted. I think I bought a BB gun, a rifle, and of course, uh, shooting that around the compound. I learned later that uh, I had caused a couple of little BB holes in the windows in some of the little uh, bungalows. My father got kind of got balled out about that. And Snake has some memories of other members of the Rat Pack Snake. as well. There was another time where we flew up to uh, Lake Tahoe in Sinatra's private jet. And we went to the Cal Neva Lodge. Vic Damone was playing there. And uh, my brother and I were taking swimming lessons in the pool. We met Lucille Ball there as well. Uh, I got an earache from the swimming. And I was kind of feeling pretty miserable. And uh, at one point, we took a little walk down to a, a little, a, a little room, a bungalow-like place that was uh, where Sinatra was with Dean Martin, and I think Sammy Davis Jr. was there. And um, we walked in, and my mother explained to uh, the group 
that I'm not feeling very well, that I've got a bad earache. And so Dean Martin chimes in and he says, oh, I know how to fix that. And uh, of course I was all ear. And uh, he said, just put your head over to the side, put some ice and some scotch in it, and then shake it like that, you know. And so everybody laughed, except for, for me, because that wasn't helping me. Sadly, George Jacobs' association with the South yeah, County yeah. has come to an end, largely mm -hmm. due to the tight words of a once popular gossip columnist. He loved Mr. Sinatra. He uh, was devastated when he was let go because of a story by Lena Barrett that uh, Mia Farrow and my dad were dancing in a nightclub in, in Hollywood somewhere and uh, got back to Mr. Sinatra. And I think the next day, my dad got an, um, a letter from Lord and he was terminated. Yeah. Who is that? That's Snake. And he, That's he Snake? quite recovered from that, you know, as far as his feelings. Oh my God. Mr. I can't Lord call it to the station. He had published his memoir, Mr. S, My Life with Frank Sinatra, five years after Sinatra's death. George Jacobs passed away on December 28, 2013, from natural causes. For our desert past, Steve Summerall, NBC Palm Springs. This is a scary song. You should call Dad the mailman. <laughs>